Hey, what's up everybody? It is Ryan Shabasal here giving you a weekly market update. Today we are going to talk about the Federal Reserve and what they decided to do with interest rates and how that compares to how the Bank of Canada chose to proceed with their interest rate announcement. And then we will also talk a little bit about Canada's immigration figures, which were very recently announced. And we are going to tie all of that back into housing and how it will have an impact on the Canadian housing market. So first off, the Federal Reserve proceeded to hike rates by 0.75 basis points. Now that um, delivered a very hawkish rhetoric from Mr. Jerome Powell. Um, what that means essentially is that he is not insinuating or implying that that is going to be the end of the rate hikes. Um, he is essentially saying that we still have a ways to go. Uh, 0.75 is a very outsized rate hike based on what we're used to in the past. However, that's what he decided to go with and he told us that he is not done yet. So that compares interestingly to what the Bank of Canada had decided to do previously. Um, they actually only decided to hike rates by 0.5 basis points. Now, the bond market in Canada was also expecting to have a 0.75 basis point hike, which isn't what happened. Now, right after this announcement had happened, the Canadian dollar, Looney, got hit decently hard against the US dollar. What this insinuates, or what one could speculate this means, is that the uh, United States Federal Reserve is taking a more aggressive approach to trying to taper inflation quicker than the Bank of Canada. So that is why the Canadian loonie will be, or was, devalued a little bit against the US dollar at this time. It's interesting that the Bank of Canada had actually decided to only go with 0.5 basis points. The, in Canada, we are far more reliant on the housing market as a whole in the Canadian economy than the United States is. So one could speculate that the 0.5 basis point hike um, actually protects the housing market in Canada a little bit, continuing to let inflation run and keep the prices of homes elevated at current levels. Now, that leads us perfectly into Canada's immigration figures. Canada has announced that they are planning to bring in 465,000 immigrants in 2023, 485,000 in 2024, and 500,000 in 2025. What impact will that have on the Canadian housing market? Well, all of these people are going to need somewhere to live. So, if you look at the supply and the demand side of the equation, this is going to directly impact the demand side of the housing market. Now, when we're impacting just the demand side of the housing market and there is no change to supply, then that is going to also continue to keep prices elevated. Now, one could insinuate again that that is what the Bank of Canada wants. Or you could also speculate that the Bank of Canada and the federal government in Canada are not exactly in line with the decisions that they're making currently where the federal government is saying, yes, everybody come in, um, lots of places for you guys to live. Now, while we're also seeing what has been considered a housing crisis for the last little while due to a shortage of supply and not very much incentive or um, easement put in place to create more supply. And that is essentially what is helping the housing market right now stay at a decent level. Um, we do still have relatively low supply and I think that that is kind of what is happening with house prices not pulling back quite as quickly as some may have expected with the rate rates going up at the rate that they have been so far. However, rate hikes typically are going to take 12 to 18 months to filter through the economy and to actually have an impact. Right off the hop, we need to have mortgage renewals come up. We need to have people go through these initial cash reserves and available credit that they're going to be using to offset 
the increased cost of living and housing. And until that happens, we're not going to be able to see what happened or what the consequence is of these rapid rate hikes. I know in Halifax specifically, where I'm speaking from, uh, supply is still relatively low and that is allowing prices to stay fairly constant. We did see an initial bit of a pullback when interest rates rise. Um, the number of people who are able to get themselves into a million dollar mortgage is certainly decreasing with the additional income required to service a debt load like that. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to receive a weekly market update on the Canadian economy and how we're going to tie that back into housing, uh, please subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.